Hello, fabulous superstar Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable and powerful astrological month, and it is a blue moon month, which means we will begin on a full moon and we will end on a full moon as well. It is that full moon at the end of the month that is especially important for you, given that it is in your sign. And so I do feel like of all the things happening this month, it is ultimately leading to that place, a full moon conjunct Uranus in your sign, a moment of truth, a moment of freedom and a moment of change. But let's take it in chronological order. At the very beginning of the month, we begin on a full moon. This full moon is in the sign just before yours and it is happening hand in hand with Chiron. There is a whole lot playing out on a level of soul and psyche and spirit. It is going to be that much more important for you to ensure you are practicing self-care, that you are getting enough rest, that you are speaking to yourself in the most loving terms and I'm sorry to say, but look, this energy can be tough. And if you are somebody who is prone to, you know, feeling emotional ups and downs, perhaps if you are prone to some depression, then you are going to want to be that much more diligent in the first days of the month with this energy, practicing the things that you need to do, practicing self-care in a way that has worked for you before so that you are kind and gentle with you. That will help you to navigate this time. For some out there, this energy can represent a sense of closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters, and a sense of vulnerability that comes along with it. Uh, a sense of a closure that doesn't necessarily hold a clarity as to where you may be going next. That really is okay. The next, the new, the exciting is right around the corner, but it is at this time that things may be changing for you. And if you can get used to the uncertainty, as Eckhart Tolle says, if you get comfortable with uncertainty, infinite possibilities open up to you. And that certainly is true right out of the gate in the first days of the month. Right around the 14th of the month is when we will have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is happening in a daily part of your sky, having to do with uh, your workplace, the type of work you're doing, the people who surround you there, and it also speaks to your health-related habits. Now, it is going to be under the light of this new moon that we are also going to have Mercury going retrograde in your opposite sign. Now, I'll return to that Mercury in a moment, but you can see how there is already this heightened sense of confusion. And then we've got a new moon speaking in tension with a conglomerate of planets, mainly Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. So this is gonna be some very intense energy playing out. It is a new moon which represents new opportunities and it does look like there may be an adjustment period playing out at this time. If it is that it feels as if new coworkers, new clients, new customers come in, it may feel like the situation is delicate in some way or it may feel as if emotions and energies are running kind of high at this time, but you will find a way to navigate it. It may also be at this time that your role, your responsibilities change, and you may have some mixed feelings on that regard. Now, there may also be a sense of needing to practice self-care. Again, we're coming back to this theme of self-care for you that is overriding the month in important ways, but this is much more practical. How well are you taking care of yourself on a level of your habits? It is gonna be at this time that where improvement needs to happen, that will come right to the surface. Now remember, new moon means new opportunities, new beginnings, new chapters, and it may be some new habits that you are going to need to incorporate at this time that can produce positive results, but not likely immediate. And there may be a sense of needing to refine your course forward in the weeks ahead. Now the end of the month, that powerful full moon energy happening on Halloween. Well, that full moon is hand in hand with Uranus in your sign. There is a sense of surprise. You and who you know yourself to be, well, that definition changing in an instant. This is about what you know to be true about yourself on a level of identity, what matters to you most, what matters to you first, and it being illuminated in ways that you hadn't anticipated. It is a surprise moment that ultimately helps you to get honest about where you are with you. And where it was that perhaps there were some truths that you didn't want to look at, this is where they're going to come right to the surface and it's mainly about you. 
where you've been, who you have been, and where now you are ready to be more you, authentically you. This is an energy of freedom and it is like ripping off a Band-Aid. And so in an instant, as you accept some truth about yourself, you may find yourself leaving behind any uh, security blankets that have been there. And that may be uncomfortable, if only for a moment, but remember this energy is enlivening and it is energy that is about propelling you into a future that is much more real much more truthful and where you can be more fully you than you knew before. Now let's talk about love because love is a big deal right about now for a few reasons. Uh, it is going to be for most of this month that we are going to have Venus moving through a very romantic part of your sky having to do with flirtation and romance. Uh, but it is going to be right in the middle of the month that Mercury is going to go retrograde in your opposite sign as well. Now, here's some things to take into consideration. It is misunderstandings, miscommunications where it comes to partnerships of all kinds, including love. They become much more likely. Breakups that happen during a Mercury retrograde season tend to not stay broken up, especially when Mercury is retrograde in your opposite sign. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, the energy is very good for that. Especially considering where Venus is, you will be getting your flirt on and enjoying it. But of course, those miscommunications, mixed steps, that sense of connecting with someone and then they kind of disappear and you don't really know what's happening or you meet somebody and you have mixed feelings about it. Or with Mercury, it could also be that you meet somebody and you have a certain first impression, but that may not necessarily be uh, what the actual impression will be in the fullness of time in the weeks ahead. Uh, and so whatever may transpire now, it does look like the universe wants you to be active, getting to know new people and connecting with others and learning about yourself in the process. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, breakups that happen tend to not stay broken up. So do keep that in mind throughout this month, this energy is gonna be playing out. If it feels like it isn't really working out in the first days of the month, that's okay. But I wouldn't be surprised if they came back around in some way, especially in the second part of the month. Given the energy around Halloween with that full moon, with the sun opposite Uranus, I think of all the signs out there, you are one of the signs most likely to feel shocked by what happens in love. And yes, people from the past may show up, uh, especially in the second part of the month. For those of you in an established bond, remember misunderstandings, miscommunications, that much more likely with energy like this. However, I do feel that your partner may in some way surprise you or your feelings around a particular situation with your partner may surprise you, especially as we get to the very end of the month. Now, regardless of what happens, it becomes that much more important, especially if you are in a long-term committed relationship to be kind and patient with each other because of those miscommunications likely and also because of the way in which the energy can feel uh, rather unpredictable and that includes your own responses and your own reactions which may take you by surprise as well as much as you may need to be patient and kind with your partner you may need some of that in return what I love about this month for you well look it's got to be that surprising that shocking that quick moving full moon energy at the very end of the month you are gonna change, your life is going to change, and you may see yourself very differently, especially once we navigate to that full moon in your sign. It is a time of illumination, but it is also a time that is propelling you into the future. And the thing about the future is it has a way of working out better than expected, and very often it has a way of putting you in a better place than you were before. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.